Hello. Um, so I finished another book. Uh, and it's this one. It's Dancing the Code by Paul Leonard, who also wrote uh, The New Zealand Lullaby, which wrote a while back. Now, when I started reading these for my November celebration of Doctor Who, um, I thought I'd bang through them at a fearsome rate. But the winter has taken hold, and uh, and it's been a bit more of a trudge, actually. And um, it's not been helped by the fact that I, I found this novel a bit, a bit of a stretch uh, for me. Um, I don't entirely think that's uh, fair on the novel. Uh, I don't think it's the greatest thing. It's not as good as Venetian Lullaby, I don't think. Um, and, of course, long-time Huathon viewers will know that I have my own issues with the... Uh, Troughton, as uh, the Pertwee era of Doctor Who, which I, you know, I've mainly exercised through this process. But nonetheless, um, I, I do find, um, you know, massively enjoying Pertwee be a bit more of a struggle than other Doctors. So there's elements of this novel that, you know, are great. I think the general premise of this, this insectoid race who can sort of copy us is absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's quite a unique setting for Doctor Who, set in the Middle East. In a, I think it's a fictional country. I hope it's a fictional country, because if not fictional, it's not there anymore. Um, and, uh, and all that's good, and there's some, you know, interesting characters in this, that and the other. And, you know, and there's, some, there's a lot to take from this. Um, I've seen it said on the internet that the ending's a bit rushed, and I'd agree with that, but it's just a zing back and forth. I think a major issue with the book, though, is this. When I first started it, I thought this is a brilliant premise for a book. I genuinely thought this is going to be the exact sort of third Doctor book I want to, to read. Because the problem with these, when you write books um, for the classic era of Doctor for any era of Doctor Who, when you're removed from it, is the fact that um, to what extent do you stay tied to the tone and the mood of it? To what extent do you stretch that and broaden that out? That's what I thought Venusian Lullaby did particularly well, apart from the fact that the Venusians ate their own children. Slightly awkward. And I thought Twilight of the Gods did it quite well as well. This one, less so. Um, and the reason for that is it's very, very clear which of the characters you know, aren't going to get harmed or, or, you know, and they're the ones that were on the television programme. Everybody else is fair game for just dying, ruthlessly, horribly dying, swearing. There's a, a reference made to rape towards the end, which I found too off colour for my liking. Um, so uh, th there's a, a schizophrenia in the tone of this book because we do get all the unity stuff and then we get this stuff... The other characters drawn in, just about how everybody dies, pretty much. I think a couple of people survived, but my gosh, the body count is high here. Um, and I found that a bit odd. Um, uh, but what I thought we were going to get at the start of the book was a really interesting idea for exploration, which is when the Doctor gets the dematerialisation uh, codes back and all that kind of thing, how do Unit feel about this? What is it that um, the Brigadier is going to do? What is it that Yates is going to do? How do they feel knowing that the linchpin of their defence against the Earth is at any point liable to disappear off? I never thought of that before. Ever, ever, ever. Uh, and that is, I, I think, within the realms of the tone of the Pertwee era, um, uh, but stretching it in a way that I think writing about classic who uh, you can do and I think that's an absolutely brilliant concept and there's a discussion about that at the start so I thought when we started we were going to get a book exploring those ideas and and the sort of mistrust between the brigadier and the doctor throughout it evoking you know the Silurians and things like that but because there's been an image uh, there's a um, uh, prediction of the future that where the brigadier shoots the doctor and this mistrust is there and the brigadier's worried about doing it and the doctor's unsure and then, of course, there's, there's clones and things like that and all sorts of stuff going on. There's, there's a big, deep um, uh, load of um, mistrust and suspicion, uh, particularly from the bringer towards the Doctor. Um, but it kind of got lost. And I think that's the problem with me enjoying this book because that is something I could really get behind. I, I think that's, that's something that I'd really like to read about. What do you need to do in the aftermath of the Doctor buggering off? You know, I suppose you could stretch that further. At the end of Terror of the Zygons... What happens after that, you know, before Mordred Undead? Um, God, I wish Mordred Undead had just to... Uh, it'd be so much better if it did. But the whole Brigadier story, I thought it would be better if, if that wasn't the case, if I could just forget that. that they can't. Half human on his mother's side and all that kind of thing. We have to accept these things the best. So, yeah, I mean, awkward. With hindsight, I wish I'd read a different Third Doctor novel because... 
I'd like to be reminded of all the things I really enjoy about the unit stories. And if we're not going to do a clever looking at um, uh, the ramifications of the Doctor moving on, the sorts of uh, character driven stuff that I think is is with in keeping with that era, you could you know is, is a stretch, but not too much of a stretch. Um, if we're not going to do that, then I want a proper rollicking third Doctor story with you know aliens and unit being awesome and this that and the other but there we go so she's like i enjoyed it anyway it's fine it's a doctor who book what can i say however the next book i'm reading um i've inadvertently bought off ebay <laughs> i promised myself i wasn't gonna buy any more but i'm reading the romance of crime and uh it gets talked about in fairly glowing terms uh or at least it has done uh and i just wanted it so i bought it it's christmas there you go um, so anyway, yes, cracking on. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, if you're a Third Doctor unit fan, check it out. Decent beans, probably not, not to my taste for the most part, but any Doctor Who's good Doctor Who.